Welcome back to From Toys to Trains. I'm Maya. Well, hey, you want you want to hear about it? I don't think you do. But before I begin, um, let me just take a minute to say welcome to all my new subscribers out there. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, watching this for the first time, you know, please hit that subscribe button. And if you could, please give this uh, video a thumbs up because it really helps to get the video out there and um, helps, you know, more people to see it. So, where do I start? Well, let's let's start with the obvious, okay? Let's let's start where where we were last night. Um, if you watch the video, and again, I'll put it, you know, up here in in the corner somewhere, um, the link to last night's video. But if you watch last night's video, you know, we painted the um the pieces uh, that we had to to finish, you know, assembling the underside of the car. So let them dry overnight. Came down tonight and thought, all right, let's get started. So, start putting it together. And let me do this. Before I before I get into what was wrong, let me just show everybody where we are so far. So, as you can see, we got the cross member in. We got the bigger, um, uh, like, race uh, springs uh, in, the suspension in. We got the front wheels in, which remember that piece broke, but we got it fixed. We got it in. We got the front bar. I still have to put the back bar on. And then we got the exhaust. And this is going to be the, the underside of the vehicle. Okay. So start off with the instructions tonight. It says, all right, put the exhaust in. I did. Poked off the holes, put a little bit of glue, put them in. No problem. Then it says, put the cross member across. But the way the instructions say it, it says, butt it up right to the end. Okay. Butt it up right against the end. Had everything glued into place. Okay. Go to put the back wheels on. And all of a sudden, it tells you that, okay, the outer holes right here, the two outer holes that were um, where the exhaust was supposed to go, according to the instructions on the one at the beginning. And I, like I say, I'm, I'm going to double check that. I'm going to just verify that that yeah that's where it shows originally they go okay according to these instructions down the road it shows oh the exhaust goes into the center so imagine my joy after this thing's been glued down to you know peel it back up replace it to the uh the two center holes right here well anyways i got that done get the back wheels in exhaust in cross member in Started to glue it. Great. Everything's going. Okay. Can't complain right now. Then it comes to putting these bigger um, chocks or whatever these are. These these uh, cross springs. Time to put these things in. Instructions say, hey, just, you know, line them up with the cross member here. And attach them to the back, um, the, uh, back of axle right here. Okay. Come to find out that if you followed the instructions, these actually did not fit. They were too short. Come to find out that you have to move the cross member up. So like where they say the wall was, like let's say if this is the piece where the wall was, they said, okay, that cross member piece was supposed to fit like right up against there like this, right? Okay, that's what they say. Find out that you have to actually put that cross member piece up on top. So then when that piece comes in, you can bring it back to the axle and put that um, big, you know, big spring on there. Great. So got that all done. But now here comes the fun part. You, they make these things. I know they mass produce them, you know, for a hobby, blah, blah, blah. And before I say, you know, before I go on here, anybody else is having problems like this, you know, please. Leave a comment below and let me know. Let me know. Are you are you having just as much problems with some of these models as I am? Or, you know, is it just me? It might just be me. I don't know. But anyways. Where was I going on this one? Oh, okay. It says, you know, put the front wheels in. It says then you got to put the, um, the uh, little shock, you know, little spring things on and all that and everything. Only problem is, is that 
those are usky bigger than this frame itself. So that's another one I'm gonna have to modify before, you know, after this all dries. Another one was the gearbox. It says, put the gearbox like under here and run it like over here across over yonder. There's no way <laughs> you can do that. So I've got a bunch of parts that are sitting here. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna wait till this dries. But like I say, it's starting to take shape. It's starting to look really nice. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm basically gonna let this dry. And tomorrow we are gonna end up putting the, um, the, um, the rod in here. We're gonna drop the engine in on the, on the backside right here. And we're gonna put the headers on. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna just start like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna get the other pieces on there. I'm gonna get like the springs on the back springs and uh, the steering column and all this and everything, the steering thing and all that. But I'm doing this at my own pace now. I mean, I got the instructions, you know, got the instructions right here. Like I say, they, they, they'll help, you know, just let me know like what piece goes where. And actually, after I've done this for so long, you know, I could build these things without the instructions. But I'm gonna, um, you know, just make sure I'm doing the right ones for the coupe so I don't, you know, end up uh, like crossing the, the coupe with the high bread. Or uh, the high boy, I mean, sorry, not high bread, high boy. You know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like, you know, have the parts crossed or whatever. But I'm telling you, man, if I get this car together, <laughs> this is gonna be a miracle. This is gonna be a miracle in itself if I can actually pull this one off. And like I say, normally I don't have that much problems with them. I've done, like I say, I've done that little Mustang. I've done um, the uh, semi-trailer one. I've done airplanes. I've done, you know, tons of models. I've done all kinds of models. But for some reason, this two-in-one Ford Coupe, man, is just, I don't know, man. It is like, it is just giving me trouble. But, hey, like I say, you know, you're watching this because, you know, it's entertainment value, you know? I mean, you're learning, you're learning the problems I'm having is probably something, you, you know, maybe you guys are having. Or, you know, it, it maybe just goes to show you that, you know, sometimes, you know, when they're, they're mass produced or whatever, that, you know, some of the parts are, you know, kind of low P, not low, no, you know, not, I don't want to knock the model, like I say, but, you know, some of the parts are like, low grade you know i mean they mass produce these things and you know they they punch them out of like the thinnest possible plastic and then when you are like you know supposedly like lining it up like it says to line it up and everything you either break the part like you like you if you saw my other video too two videos back you saw that like this front end right here the front i'm sorry i'm, I'm standing here sitting here not paying attention but like the front end right here in this corner you saw that broke you know, and I was just trying to get the wheels on there. So, like I say, it, it's amazing how, you know, it, 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 some, some of the pieces, some of the models, you know, they're real strong. They're really good build and other ones, they're, they're like real, like flimsy and everything. And like I say, so far, this one here has just been a, it's been a really weird build, but like I say, we're gonna we're gonna press on with it. You know, tomorrow I'll get the um, I'll get the uh, let me see where where was that actually? I believe it's yeah, it's right here. You know, tomorrow we'll get the uh, the engine in, and we'll get the uh, we get the um, the bar you know in. We'll get that all we'll get that all locked in there and get it in place. And then uh, from there we'll hook up the headers. Um, the headers are gonna end up uh, being glued in. Um, right here on the side and then they're gonna go down uh, down below here they're gonna come down below and they're gonna join up with the tailpipes uh, right here and right here so I'm hoping <laughs> that I got it in the right spot but all we can do is wait and see till tomorrow so again um, you know if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button and like I say if you've you know you stayed this long and listening to me rant about the models and everything but if you could, you know, please give the video a thumbs up. It actually helps me out a lot. Helps the video out, gets it out there to more people. And again, I'm Maya from Toys to Trains. You guys take care, stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Take care.